it's the most important thing that you could possibly do is build a brand around yourself because that's all you have, you know, especially once the market starts to, and it's already started, but I mean, the market's going to crash here at some point. And those that have built a solid brand where there are people that know, like, and trust them because they have been watching, listening to content for the last three years, they're going to continue doing business with those people. You have to find your lane that you enjoy. Like I enjoy all, all aspects of, of social media and that's what enables me to stick with it is because I enjoy it. Some may not enjoy certain aspects. You got to figure out what is it? Is it podcast? Is it, you know, video? Is it, you know, putting 120 characters down and, and, and press and send like, like whatever that is that, that you actually enjoy that part of the process, just lean into that. Uh, but the big thing is do something, uh, because if you're not, this is not social media is not going anywhere. Be real, be honest. There are things that you do exceptionally well. They may not be producing a, an exceptional income for you right now, but there are things that you do that are unique. There are things that you do that are great. Talk about those things. If you become passionate about what you are doing, you can find things about it that are interesting and it doesn't have to be so specific to your industry. Yeah. It's key pillars that are universal to any industry. Personal branding just weaves together your life and your work in the form of sharing your life's work. Everybody's got something. Um, you know, everybody has a story which people can learn a lot from other people's stories. So that's in and of itself enough. But then there's something specific that you're good at and you know, it may not be directly, it may not directly correlate to your business, but there's something interesting about people. Like that's my favorite objection to social media. When, when people are, you know, really using the excuse of, well, you know, I, what I do is just not that interesting. I'm like, that's fantastic. Cause I sell life insurance and there's nothing less interesting than that. But it's all about providing value. And here's the thing you're providing value without any expectation in return. You're providing value, never expecting to get anything in return, but with the understanding that it always comes back. Name, name the influencer that you like. I mean, just start doing the types of things that they're doing, but within your industry or within the realm of what you think is interesting and that is authentic to your life. Um, that's the big thing. It's just being authentic and being you and just telling your story. I mean, some of the best content that we've ever put out has been about the worst parts of my life, the worst parts of my character, the worst things that I've gone through, but it resonates with people. And, um, you know, it's refreshing and, and people enjoy and appreciate the fact that, that people are just being real. Like if you got on Facebook live and just said, here's my story, I'm broke right now. I'm completely broke. I have no idea what to do on social media, but I decided to get on this Facebook live today and just talk about where I am in life and literally just like laid your life out as good, bad, or ugly as it may be. I promise you that's going to perform.